Hey guys, it's Sam. What's for eating? I know it's been a while. The kids were off of school. It's kind of hectic around here with them over here. Can't really record anything because they're crazy. Anywho, so today we're making a duck bahok pickle mud fish dip sauce for steak. Grilled, barbecued, fried, roasted in a solar oven. Don't matter how you cook it, just cook it. And then you dip it into this sauce, which I am about to make. Okay. Um, there are a million variances of how you do this. I'm just going to do this the most simple way as possible. So you don't have to spend like hours at the store. Me personally, everything that I got is from my garden in the back or at my dad's garden. Anywho, basic ingredients. All you really need is uh, lemongrass. Peppers, basil or basil, the French call it basil, probably don't, but, and mint. So if your neighbors are growing this wild on the side of their house, feel free to go ahead and pick it. Which I did, no I didn't, but I did. Just kidding, but seriously. All right. <laughs> basic ingredients right and the only other things I really need is lime and pickled mud fish paste dun, dun, dun. there's like a couple hundred of these in uh, the Asian store you could try any one you want depending on how spicy or I mean, uh, how salty they may be so on and so forth well first things first is I'm gonna start First things first is I'm gonna rinse these I rinse these guys off and now I am plucking them because I don't want the stems. I'm not saying that you can't eat the stems, but I prefer not to. There's been a couple of drunken times where I, I made it with the stems. I'm not gonna say it's bad or anything. So, we got that all ready in the bowl right here. And then, what we want to do is, we want to take our lemongrass, and we are going to mess it up. Now that's done. I'm gonna push it to the side real quick. And then I'm gonna get these peppers that I'm growing in my in the back of my house right now. I got it from my mom. My mom said, "Oh, these are really spicy, right?" Well, the first batch wasn't really spicy, so I kind of shunned her for it. But we're cool now. We're talking again, and um. Just today, I was thinking to myself, like, man, I'm out of peppers, and I don't want to go buy anymore. So I took these out, my wife made me try it, and hot, hot, right? Heck of spicy. 
So I gotta call my mom and apologize now. She's gonna be like, yeah, bitch, I told you. Whatever, mom. Anyway, dice is up real good. It doesn't have to be a perfect dice because we're gonna like chop it all up together once we have everything all nice and uh, sliced and diced. We're gonna incorporate everything together. So I'm gonna put that to the side as well. And um, now I'm gonna put in the, the basil and the mint. Just get the whole wad out. Get the wad out. <laughs> You know, when I was younger, the pickle mud paste was never really a paste. It comes with pickle fish inside of a jar. So my mom would have to like sit there and, and chop it up until it's all nice and pasty. Well, thank God for technology. Now it comes in a paste so you don't have to deal with all that douchebaggery. So all you really got to do is slice everything up and then... Put it together and mix it up. God, this knife is so dull. All right. No, I'm not going to put. All right. My wife wants me to put on some chafing lime leaf. <laughs> Kaffir lime leaf. <laughs> All right. Kaffir lime leaf is a leaf off of the lime plant. The Kefir Lime Plant. I'm not, normally not a big fan of this because normally you don't have these fresh. And when they're not fresh, they're really like tough and sticky. But we have like a whole garden of this stuff inside of my dad's backyard. So we're going to incorporate that. Because Samantha really, 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 really wants me to put it in. Uh, it's kind, it's kind of harder to find fresh locally, but if you have an Asian store close by, then you might be able to find it frozen. Hopefully, that's why I didn't want to incorporate it into this dish because it's kind of hard to find, Samantha. Anywho, so let me clean this up. And bring out the sticky icky. Oh, wait. Creepy. Mm. Creepy. Mm, oh, it smells delicious. Goodness. <laughs> this smell is so pungent. It's like salty, fishy, yucky kind of smell. But um, trust me, with this kind of stuff, pohok, the stinkier it is, the better it is. So, I don't have to add too much. Oh, it stinks so good. It stinks so good. Oh, put a lid on that, throw it in the fridge, because it stinks. it together so they get into a nice and incorporated Got all the chopping done. Took a long time, like a whole two minutes, right? The goal was to incorporate everything together, you know, get all the flavors, all the flavors in there. Cause you know, done right, 
at like the peak season of the the mint and the basil you shouldn't have to season it but then again like depending on how salty the pickled mudfish is or or how uh, pungent the mints and the basil is you might want to season it afterwards but you know you can never tell until you're done or you're there whatever okay <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into my container right lime everything is intuitive intuitive okay so I want to squeeze some lime in here normally you have like a whole lime but I know with this one right here is very very juicy cuz this guy know how to pick up lime at the store I don't know which one to pick. I didn't pick it away. I taught her. No, YouTube taught her. But anywho. <laughs> so, get it all in there. And then I'm going to mix it together with the lime. You know what they say, the lime kind of kills some of the bacteria that's in there. Because, you know, pick a mudfish, you know, it's like been fermenting for like years and then they stick into a jar and then it sits for a while anyway, okay so now that I got that in there get boiling hot water boiling and then you add it in until you get the consistency that you want Kids are crazy. Crazy. Mm. All right. Now would be a good time to taste it. Get a little stir. And now I am going to taste it. Bring up a tasting spoon. Very salty. Uh, needs a little more lime. Put my spoon down. Clean as you go, asshole. Now that might be just a little too much. Mixing song. So, anyway, the reason why I put this in this bowl is because we're having a barbecue at the shop. And they bring the steak, I bring the thukbahok. It's like a match made in heaven. Hey guys. So we're here at the shop, right? Like I said, we uh, made our sauce for it. The shop. Sure, hold on. Can't work under all this pressure. Oh, yep. So, uh, we've been grilling this meat for quite a bit. Oh my god, that's perfect. You guys like it thick or thin? Thin, please. You know I like it thick. <laughs> Whoa! I'm talking about steak. 
bro. We all know. There's a guy with a baby Please. in his hand. <laughs> Thank you. Just hold on a second. I'm trying to make a video here. Hi, Oh, she's walking. Remember last time she didn't want to work with nobody? Well, this one's super tender right here. Mm. I know you're hungry, babe. You want me to make you one? Look at that, man. Girl, we didn't got Holland, we got ribs, we got steak, we good. Very good. All good. God, I'm going to teach you how to dance, man. Don't you you trying to say my son don't know how to dance? I hope you are not on camera with that. Only with the crystal gel. <laughs> Only with the crystal gel. <laughs> I have a girl in my class. Her name is America. Down, girl. I have a girl in my class. Her name is America. So, it could be a little bit more spicier, but kids are going to be eating it too. My kids, they love this stuff. I know that some kids don't really like it. Anyway, like I said before, this is a simple, simple recipe that there's all kinds of stuff that you could put in there to make it better. Like a lot of people like to put in like, huh? Baby eggplants. Baby eggplants, right? Um, more lime leaf. They like to put in uh, all kinds of herbs and spices to make it like, you know, just the way they like it. But this is the basic, 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 easy. Most of this stuff, if you're Asian, you probably have it in the house already. Or if you're really Asian like me, you probably have it grown in the backyard. Like this is the kind of stuff where, where it's simple. If you have everything ready, it takes you about five minutes to make and then you grill up some steak and boom, you got yourself a dip to drink beer with. Well, thank you for watching everybody. If you like, then hit the like button. If you feel like sharing, then you share. Go run, run and tell your friends, your dad, your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your aunt, your uncles, your neighbor. Did I say cousin? Well, your cousins. Tell your boss. Tell your coworkers, even the ones you don't like. Thanks for watching.